So how do you feel about this documentary coming out? It's pretty exciting, you know, to be profiled in uh, a documentary that also celebrates uh, this beautiful city that we live in. There's a, there's a line that I've seen in the trailer. It's art, for God's sake. Try living without it. What would life without art be like for you? Um, unimaginable, really. I, I can't, um, you know, because there's art in everything. There's, uh, you know, just uh, the, the uh, aesthetic of, uh, of the world, the way it's put together. You can't help but look at it and admire it and know that it's, uh, it's not happenstance. Like, it, th we're looking at art, you know. And you're but there's something in you that lets you see that that not everybody has that gift to see the art. Well, you know, and, and I, I guess that, that does come into the idea of moral injuries and, uh, and looking at those things, looking at things as art and uh, um, putting them in my own terms. What do you hope we get from the documentary, we walk away feeling? Uh, well, um, I guess the best thing that could come out of a documentary would be that uh, uh, viewers understand that Manitoba is actually full of people like me and that uh, it's a wonderful place and that when, uh, when you come across someone who has obviously chosen a path that maybe you don't understand yourself or don't would like to know more about, you should talk to these people. An enhanced and different view on things is always uh, it, it, it can lead to a, uh, to a greater understanding of our, our situation and that's what we need right now. Uh, you know, the healing aspect of uh, the divisions that we now are faced with in our, what we thought was just a tranquil life, you think, oh my God. So, um, you know, somehow I think art can work an important thread throughout that. In, in the world of art, you can do anything you want in the medium of clay it's you know you're working with a, a material that was uh, uh, cast when uh, the mountains were ground down 180 million years ago so I have a responsible position of making stuff and uh, for me lately I've been able to put it into uh, some personal terms that explore some uh, some universal ideas it uh, the current uh, film titled Moral Injuries uh, started to evolve out of childhood traumas, of course. And uh, when I began to think about, even if it was tongue in cheek, cheek, about the things that happened to people and how different people's ability to either succumb or overcome these, uh, you know, perils really molds and shapes the way they are. It's art, it's supposed to make people think about things and make people happy. And, you know, look good on a mantle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.